All right. Okay, so that's one that's one perspective, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say, is it a possibility that this is all a hoax and she just sitting over there like 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 you said, like I'm just gonna play the the game. Maybe I stay over here for two years, period. Sell a book. You think that she's not in jail? I'm just saying, can we entertain it? Like, can we entertain, like, maybe... I'm going to say no. I mean, was she probably at some point... Like, I mean, on, let's over? just say conspiracy theory. Not on some... Just, theory that I she, mean, like, to... That would be dumb. Because what, I think... What, what, if she would, was, would, what if she was over there living it up, though? That would get out. You think? If she was. If you up there living it up and this, that, whatever, it's way too much media attention for you for it not to be what it is. And if that was ever to come out where you have all of these people in an uprise about you here and you really like like normal average, like we are having a conversation <laughs> about Brittany Gra- You know, know what I'm saying? You man. have the average human being that is on TikTok, That's on wild. social media, all social media platforms talking about your release and your whatever. That would do her a, a huge disservice for her to have staged this entire thing. But first of all, that takes a lot of a lot of everything. I mean, all you gotta do is control the media. But you also gotta be lot like you 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 doing interviews behind a bar, behind bars. Set that up in the basement. <laughs> Mm-mm. Yeah. Absolutely not. It's way too. She's taking it well. Way. She's taking it well for for what I said. Like, like for when they I show think she's her. Just not breaking down in front of us. Man, I'd be on that bitch like. <laughs> nah, I, 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 I'd be like. Hey, what the fuck? I have my hands up like. But who knows what she's been through that you know she's able to do that? Because you because not all people would be able to do that. But yeah. um, I think that she's definitely having her moments in private. Definitely. Oh man, she need to have them motherfuckers on TV so somebody can get off their ass. Why? What you mean? That other shit, that kind of cool shit, ain't working. It's either gonna work. Or, it's either it's gonna happen or it's not. Because that's a that's a tall order to say, release this man, and I'll give you this. I'll give you her, not this, but her, or and that other guy. There's another guy over there. I feel. I feel you. That's a, I'm just that's talking a, about from as her as the person being locked up. When they pull me in front of these cameras, I'm a I'm gonna have a sign. Help me! I don't, I don't give a fuck. I'm doing so. I gotta go. Like, hey, I don't, I don't even know if she can have any of that. Man, we, I gotta. Like this. Yeah, I gotta. Like, I gotta. Ooh. I gotta do something because you ain't moving. I gotta make it dramatic. You right. feel me? Right. <laughs> like, no, I feel you. I mean, but I ain't just chill. Like I'm not going over there. She be damn near posing for pictures and shit. You feel what I'm saying? I I yeah. just. But who knows? You know I know we like, don't I know. That's what I, I was saying. You know what I'm saying? Because when people are going through traumatic uh, events and they're experiencing moments of trauma, um, it's it's hard to tell anybody how they should feel. I know. I, I know. I know. Or I just, or, or how, because I, I mean, I I ain't gonna lie. So. Yeah, can you can you imagine? I'd them? Be a, <laughs> I know <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you know, exactly, I wouldn't know what bro. to do. But you I, do but that. you never know how you're going to be because who knows how those people are treating her over there. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. She's taking it pretty good, right? But but she's probably not. No, you know I'm what saying, I'm saying. saying from, like, from what we can see, though. From what we can see, I mean, she looks very just she flat. Like, she like she. I mean, she sounds like look happy. I mean, I mean, she sounds like she. Okay, we we understanding that she if she's supposed to be in jail, she ain't gonna be like, "What up, y'all? I'm uh, just checking in." Like, I I get that, but at the same token, you in jail in Russia. You feel me over a pen? You feel me? So what I'm saying is, I already done tried the whole. I take responsibility for my actions. I tried to. I tried that, and that shit ain't. Them motherfuckers ain't buzz. They was like. <laughs> they was, don't care. Yeah, they was like, okay, that's it. That's all you got so to say. You're, so you're, uh, I mean, I don't, know. I, so, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not good because I. There's certain times where I handle myself, and and I'm not obviously, uh, trying to compare anything that I've been through versus being in jail and stuff like that or being through that type of situation. But, um, not all the time 
you know, you're able to, you know, like you, like you, you so effed up that you can't, like, it's just like, I'm in twilight zone. Like, like this is the work, like, I don't know. So mm -hmm. yeah, I can see. I can't, I, I can't base what somebody is feeling based off what they express. I ain't been, you know I don't, listen, I, all I'm saying is after I tried the, the high road, <laughs> I'm tired. All I'm saying is, I'm saying, after I tried, after I tried to take the high road, like, listen, yeah, I did have the cartridge. It was mine. I'm just doing what my parents taught me to do. Just take responsibility. After I tried that, and the motherfucker was like, "All right, you can take her back now." I'm like, "Damn, he cold as hell." So next, <laughs> so oh no, oh, so no, next oh, no. time, they, but their law. I thought you was talking about doing that to appease the American people. Hell no, I'm trying to get home. No, they don't care. Because I know do they don't care. I know they don't care. Is that no? Their law flat out. They're, they're, I just told you Russia is different. I know, but I'm they saying I ain't got no. nothing to lose, though. No. I ain't got nothing to lose. No. No. If it I go is. to court, I'm fa I'm falling out. I'm faint. You are proven. You are guilty. Yeah, I ain't trying to. Until proven innocent. I'm crying. No. I, I got tears coming out my eyes. No. There, I, There's not. I mean, y'all already. Y'all. I, I don't got no. I, no. Yeah, I can't look cool. People I might, don't think she's looking cool. No, no, no. What I'm saying is this. If there was any time to you don't act a fool, she don't think she been doing that. Mm -mm. I ain't private. seen her act a fool. Fuck a private. When y'all pull oh, me out but, here, but it's all of them. But they know what the heck is going on. You around guards and this and that. See, oh, why I be talking about the it? guard beat my ass. I be trying to ref all kind of. You let me. If you'd have let me have a statement, I wouldn't have been talking about some taking responsibility. I'd have been like, help me, hey. <laughs> That's I'd have been like, man, call somebody. This is some bullshit. I'd be like, call somebody, man. Y'all playing back at the crib. Quit fucking around. Uh, I don't care if you call uh, LeBron busy. I get it. He, he raising his kids. I ain't expecting him to bail me out, but goddamn. Uh, shit, Kodak Black. That's a hopeless situation, though. Man, That's they pardon sad. Kodak Black. Who? Trump. He got man from, this, from where? I know I understand it. I understand it. That's right. that's I understand it back here. <laughs> but what I'm saying is goofier shit has happened. You dig what I'm saying? We're talking about Russia. We man, talking about a whole they can let different the, country. Man, come get me. We ain't talking about it, it, there's nothing that can be done. Oh yeah, it is. I I let that man free, of, man. <laughs> but let, but then what? But then 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 you kill him. I mean that's that's a good solution. Yeah. And then whatever. I mean, I always said put a bomb in his mouth. I don't know. But what I'm saying is is that what if that can't happen? What if that whatever and then now you have jeopardized now billions of like you don't think that I mean, I yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess. It's all scary. It's it's a scary situation. It, it's messed up and all I can do at this point is, you know, uh just pray for the whole situation and, yeah, man. and whatever happens is what's, what's going to happen and that's just is what it is. Yeah, that shit crazy. That that's, it is crazy though. Yeah. I, I mean, I make light of it being on the conspiracy side, but you know, yeah. part of me, I guess, hope that she just over there chilling and playing playing on some old. Yeah. You yeah. know, I don't want nobody locked up for no damn cartridge. You feel me? Yeah, like so, yeah. that's some, that ain't even no player shit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <clears throat> yeah, no. that ain't even. <clears throat> That ain't nothing to do no time over. She could have did some more fire shit than that if she was going to be locked up anyway. I'm sure she thought she done made the right decision not to do a whole bunch of other fuck shit right. the whole time she was over there being the access she had to shit that the average person wouldn't have. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, hope she do get home. And, Without a doubt. You know, soon. But. Definitely crazy. You know what I'm saying? If you. If she if she didn't uh poly with the Russian government and say, look, we go right. <laughs> if she done she done made some new friends. Hey, Dennis Robin did it. You went over when everybody went mess with the old boy in China, Dennis Robin pulled up on him, kicked it with him with his birthday and everything. We ain't that I don't think they was. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> they went in I'm just saying, some people like they went, people. They, went they went like crazy man. stuff going on though. This they is, might this be is some this is some crazy they stuff. They might be over there like Brittany. It ain't you. We don't fuck with your man. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you just caught up. Pray for Ukraine. I pray for Brittany Griner. Pray for yeah. the whole situation. And that's that's all you really could do. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Another thing I want to talk to you about is uh you good? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um Are you familiar with like this whole new wave of people getting paid off of uh like these uh one on one V ones and these five on five runs that they just the inner basically the influencer in the basketball where it was like it's like hoop influencers? See, I only knew um about the like the football things they be doing. Mm-hmm. They be doing a little one on one thing and it's like for like ten thousand dollars, like five thousand dollars, whatever. I don't know if you've ever seen those on YouTube. Um, but no, I haven't heard anything about that. The the most I've heard as far as like how, you know, in college they're supposed to be, you know, getting paid and, you know, all that stuff, whatever the case may be, or, or on the verge of doing that. I don't know like where that happened at, but, um, how do I feel like you're just, are you in college or are you just no, no. going out and you just playing? These are, it's, it's really like, it's just like, uh, these guys getting a camera. They go into their parks, and they record it, and then like <clears throat> they post it on YouTube, and I be watching this shit. That's why I ask. As a, mm-hmm. I know you, you know, um, you know, you play at the highest level, but it's really just a whole new industry well, of of uh, basketball revenue. And I was asking you, was you familiar with it? Because like um, the one of the, the biggest, probably the biggest influencer, Devonte Frigga. Mm-hmm. You, you familiar with him? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, he just played Mario Chalmers one on one at uh at this little thing, but it's like a real big thing that's catching on now. And I was wondering so is was... he playing against people, or is he actually getting a group of people? Like, hey, I went to, I, I'm coming to this court. Like, how they do with the little floor, like with the football thing, is they go to. I'm sure they let them know in advance, but they'll go to different states. Yeah, yeah. And then they'll have it be like all these kids and like. They're basically competing for a wristband, um, so they'll go uh, defense against offense, and it's like literally one they got to you know route, and they got to do the route in so many seconds or whatever, and beat the person. Da da da. They got to catch it. They got to make the catch. No, this is less. This is less. Uh, like organized, or what? Yeah, this is more or less social media influence based. Like, so you have. Yeah, no, no. This is a social media guy who is putting all of this. On. Like I, I, yeah. I don't even know where he came from. Yeah, it's the, just all of a sudden I just start seeing it. So if it's like that, where you actually have kids, you know, or adults, whatever, because it's all type people. Right. It ain't just kids. It's people that's already in college, going to college, in high school, people who are adults, you know, whatever, and they get this opportunity to win this money. Yeah. Um, to do that, but I think that that's um. Uh, a great thing. Um, I think it's it's awesome. You know, whatever sport that they're able to do it in. Um, obviously, knowing that it's basketball too, um, because at one point in time, the only way that you could become visible was AAU. Right. But AAU is very expensive, and then you also have to know. And, and I please, parents, whoever, you know. Understand that every AAU team ain't the right AAU team. Oh yeah. Um, because for my AAU team, I was on um, I was on this team, PA Lightning. I had to get out of get out of there. Um, I was on um, Queen City Jaguars and All Ohio. And with those teams, though, we were everywhere. We were in, uh, you know, Virginia. We were in Florida. We were in New Orleans. We were. In, I was in Atlanta. Tennessee, uh, California, Oregon. I don't know if I said that. I was in Indiana. You know, I was in Columbus. I was in Cincinnati. I was in Cleveland. I was in PA. I was, you know, we, we was everywhere. Do you consider yourself a hooper or or a basketball? <laughs> I mean, because because no, I'm serious. You know what I mean? What's the difference? I don't know. A difference a between a hooper and a, and a basketball ba- player. No, because I know you played at the highest level, so I have no question that you are a basketball player. Got you. I'm not questioning. Oh, that. okay. I'm talking about what do you self identify as? Like when I when you when I say what the difference, like a hooper, like you know how like we show you, you blocked old girl shit. Like that was some hooper shit. You feel me? Like like your the way you love the game type shit. Like that 
I don't know, but then there's people who don't really self-identify as a hooper. Like they just like, man, I play ball for rec. And I'm well, good at it. Well, well, but well, I don't know. Of course know. I didn't just play basketball for rec. No, no, no. <laughs> no like, I'm but... talking about I'm talking about like they may take rec ball way. It's a reason why I don't take rec ball way serious. But but I, I know you I, I I get that. But no, no, I'm saying on the cause on the flip, the people to me that take rec ball very seriously haven't done anything. So this I mean, is most time. This is your thing. No, no. The ones that you know what I'm talking about that take it way above like just being competitive. Okay, like, yeah, we're, we're not, I don't think we count now. Right. But that's because it's like, I'm like, dude, is this all you have? Like, yeah, you yeah, count, yeah, yeah, we're doing not, this and doing we, that. We, we ain't talking Whatever, about I'm like, what, what what are we doing? For me, um, I don't know, that's a hard question to ask. The reason why is because I don't talk about myself. So I don't uh but would I say I'm a hooper? I'm going to say, like, I would say yes if I had, if you're holding me to the fire and saying you have to choose. No, 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 no. Which I one, was. <laughs> you have to say, no, because I don't talk about myself. I, I, so, but do you, but I'm going to tell you, do I love this? Do I breathe this? And, and at one point in time, was I all of that? Like, I'm, I'm, like, this is it. And, and, and I don't, I don't, I didn't like losing. I don't I mean, I don't like losing now. That ain't changed. Um, was, was the, and the fire is still there. You know what I'm saying? That's what determines if you're a hooper or not. If you're just playing basketball, <laughs> you, you don't care whether you play or not. Like, for me, nah, like, this, this yeah. is it. Like, so when Tuesdays and Thursdays come around and Saturday come around when I play at um, Mount Calvary and stuff like that, like, no. Yeah. Those, those are good times in my life. Do I feel better? Do I feel free? Do I feel like this is... I'm I'm authentically me For in sure. this moment. Yeah, you absolutely do. You're I, a hooper. You know what I'm saying? I, I breathe that. You Damn, know that shit. Like, that shit almost brought tears in my eyes when you just broke that shit down. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, cause cause that's real. I no, mean, that was dope though because it's like you know coming from somebody you had at the battle with, like, cause just because of the level that you play, but the foundation of it, I guess the the fundamental. Oh, absolutely. The fundamental. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So. It was you definitely know. nurtured the right way. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and I like I said, I thank God for that. I thank God for that the people were in my life at the right times to to make sure that that happened. Um, you know, because at the end of the day, what God has for you is for you. Um, and he will make a way no matter what. So um, sure. um, I was uh, I would never take any of that for granted because I love it so much. There has been times where I wanted to quit because of different things that were going on in my life. And I just couldn't because the fire is it, it's too deep. It's, sure. too, it's too in here to to actually really quit. I can't do that. Yeah, that shit. Like wow. you know what I'm saying? Like that shit. Wow. Like no matter what's going on, you know, I still got to come out here. I still got to play. And and you know that's what it is. Like is is my knee hurting right now? Absolutely. Is my shoulder hurting right now? Yeah, that shit. It was hurting before today. It's been hurting all along. My knee been swollen f- since last week. Have I stopped playing? No. Man. I was massaging my knee. You got to, you got you got to, you got to, uh, you got to get you a protege. <laughs> you got to get you a protege. You got to, you got to find somebody worthy. You got to, or you just, you got to find a protege because, you know, you know, that that's the, that's the, that's the next thing. Yeah. My protege would be my child. If they, okay. if that, if. If, if they like that. No, the reason why I say that, the reason why I say that, I, I got to say why. Um, I've extended, you know, the olive branch out, you know, to people. Um, and at the end of the day, everybody live their own life. They do their own thing. They want to do it the way they want to do it. And I know that at the end of the day, and that's why, you know, I'm working with kids. I've I've done training. I've done those things, you know, whatever. But I understand that God didn't give me all of this and all this experience and all this knowledge, you know, that I've gained in different aspects and different ways throughout basketball to just die on it, right? Sit on it, right? You know, and not to pour, you know, into other people. But I also have to understand that, you know, I I, I gotta it, it'll come when it comes. So I have trained kids in basketball. I have instilled, you know, myself, For sure. you know, on some of those people, um, on some of those children. Um, but I've also put the things that I have learned 
into my after school program. Right. Um, so when I worked for Inspiring Minds in Youngstown, I brought that energy in that I might not be imparting basketball onto you. Right, right. But I'm sure. imparting everything else that basketball gave me and developed me to be. So, you know, I'm giving you that structured discipline slash love. You sure. know what I'm saying? I'm I'm trying to, you know, show you the way. But I can't force you, but I'm going to show you as best I can. But I'm going to love you all along the way, but I'm going to discipline. We're going to be structured, discipline, I'm gonna, but but you gonna, we're going to be good. You know what I'm saying? So that is what I take. And when we say like, you know, uh, you know, a protege or, or whatever, I take every child because when I was in college, I developed this. I came up with this quote. If um, you can change the life of just one child, you've lived a successful life. So. At some point, I know I didn't did it. You know, right, I know right. I've, I've accomplished a little bit because I didn't had kids come back from me from Inspire Mind and say, "Oh my God, you know what's here?" So, like when our program was over, you know, all of us was crying. Damn. Like I had to go to the closet because I had to ugly cry. Like I ain't just had tears come out. I had to go to the closet. I was like, "Damn, this looks <laughs> crazy." Let me get myself together. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that is what brings me great joy and hope. So that is kind of like that other. You know, when you have that burning desire for basketball, that other burning desire is to know that God has given me different tools to impart on the next generation. Mm -hmm. And that's whatever generation. And I ain't just saying oh, the generation that's right behind. No, it, it's whichever one. And it's to continually do that. Um, so, but when I say like, actually, if my child uh, male or female is is into sports. I think that would be my best protege because it's hard to impart who I am because I'm so like hard nosed a little bit because that's how I was raised. I wasn't raised with much emotion. I, I didn't develop that until later. On I mean, life. but that's I mean, most 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 people who make I would say make, but when they have so much to give and they they start pouring into somebody. Most of those people are like that, though. Mm -hmm. Like most, most, some of the best boxing trainers, you know, some of the best individual trainers. Um, <clears throat> the ones who usually turn out mm -hmm. good batches, good, Absolutely. good. They, and, and you gotta find that right one. Yeah, just like, they you do know. like this. So everything that you, yeah, like, yeah, don't be, hard don't be the to difference. Find those kids now. That's what I was about to say. It's hard. That's what I'm saying. Like. So that's what I, I'm I'll saying. Like <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Somebody got to know, like, somebody got to know, like, that's why I, I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying, you sharing it because, you know, just for the preservation of the game, you feel what I'm saying, and and, and just doing our part for the game to continue to, to thrive, mm -hmm. you feel me? Somebody got to, who maybe, who haven't heard you talk about the game the way you just talked about the game. Somebody got to know. So when they bump into you, they know who they talking to. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I was late to the party. You feel what I'm saying? You, right. you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so, like, there might be, and, and I ain't talking about, I'm talking about the game. I ain't talking, I know, you know, most of us, that's, you know, we all conduct ourselves as to make this place. We talked about that before, mm -hmm. like, making our surroundings, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, better and flyer than they was when we found them. By adding our little sauce to it, Absolutely. you feel what I'm saying. Um, so that part for sure, but uh, you know, saying that fire for the game to be able to just, you know, saying to cook up a cook up a, t a TG 2.0. You feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying to cook one of them up. That like like that. I like to see something like that, especially around here, because, um, you know, I think. Just as a hooper, you know what I'm saying, and a, a fan of the game, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, myself, like the fact that you, your experiences and that recipe you built to, to that success you achieved at all them levels, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, that ain't just one level, like it's one, okay, I got over a thousand high school and I gave somebody a 50 ball, you feel me, like we already checked them blocks, boop, boop. You feel what oh. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I already, yeah, I'm hip, I'm hip, <laughs> I'm hip. Yeah, I know. Well, well, you only said a thousand. 
I, I said over a thousand. So you gotta give me. You gotta give me what it is. Though. I didn't. What is it? Stall me out. I I ain't wanna. It's twenty three. I knew it was something. I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was. I wasn't. I'm just telling you where people nah, people who yeah. they they got little blocks to check this to, to certify themselves at different levels because I I see people on Instagram with the basketball talking about they got their thousand you feel me and I see trainers like oh I got me a thousand point score you had a that's different I we well, you know you different okay I'm joking with you so over a thousand I knew it wasn't a thousand was just worth a a category Absolutely. then they say. You know, I got a thousand. I got a fifty. You know, I was watching a, a Saint Saint Anthony's Bobby Hur- Coach Hurley mm-hmm. up in New, up in uh, Saint Anthony, New Jersey. Uh, he, he I was watching his uh, documentary on Showtime the other day. Then he, the one kid, one of his kids, just had all them points, and his dad was like, "Yeah, I was, I had that too when I was in high school, but he don't got no fifty point game, no." You, so it's like another one of those right, things. Right. So we, you, got, you want to know what's crazy. Like you say, okay, everybody got a checklist or, or there's a, you know, there's certain things that certify you into something like I never, ever did. Like I literally just went out there and played basketball. Like when that whole 50 thing happened, 52 point game, I had no clue. I didn't even know what the, I didn't know. We only won by 10. Uh, I was in the locker room and I'm just sitting out, taking out my stuff, waiting for the coach to come in. My teammate running here is Tiffany Miller. Tyra, you scored 52 points. I'm like, yeah, right. Like, what are you talking about? And my coach overheard the conversation as he was coming in, you know, Coach Durkin, rest his soul. And he was like, yeah, she's not lying. And I was like, what? Are you serious? What do you mean? Like, what? Damn. Like, yeah. I had no clue. I had no nothing, you know, whatever. Like, I... I was just out playing. I just wanted to win. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 that wasn't it. Like, I, I, like scoring, I knew I had the score, but it was just about playing basketball. I What I was more concerned with, and this is why I love LeBron James so much, is I was more concerned with knowing my teammates and understanding how I needed to pass to them, how I needed to, you know, what positions did they need to be in, you know, in order for them to be the most effective, you know, all of those things. Uh, because at the end of the day, you know, uh, yeah, they say there's no I in team, but there's an ME in it. I get it. But at the same time, they you're going to have to need them, you know, at certain points, you know, and, you know, you can't just do, you know, everything, right? you know, on your own. So there was times where I would, use after practice and work with them because I wanted to understand them. I wanted to understand the entire dynamic of the team and how, how I was going to be able to make this the most effective on top of me scoring on top of me, whatever. But I know that Tiffany Miller defender Sierra at one point when she was, she was, the def- I knew this person was, I knew what they were specialized in. I knew why they were there. They uh, they accepted their roles. That's what people don't do now. No one accepts a role. Everybody want to be, you know, the chief and no Indian, you know, whatever. And and it was, I thank God that I had that, you know, on a team. Like I had phenomenal role players that were awesome in their role. And they played the ish out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like they did that. You know what I'm saying? And um, it was, that's what I was most focused on. But you know, like <laughs> y'all got that hardware too, didn't y'all? Mm-hmm. Y'all got that hardware. What year? What year I get that? So sophomore year, uh, I won it. We won. We uh, won it. Uh, won state championships, and then my senior year, uh, we were runner up mm. in states. Yeah. Got that hardware. <laughs> got that hardware. Never changed what we was, Jeff. <laughs> Yes, yes. But I mean, that, so, it, it was it was awesome. Like, I mean, that was, I think that was the best part is, you know, just knowing that you had, like, your team knew they trusted you and you trusted them. Like, you know, that was one of the things that, you know, even, you know, the late Greek Kobe Bryant couldn't figure out because he even asked other people, how do you trust your team? 
you got to build them up. You know what I'm saying? And right. you got And you got to know them. You got to know them inside and out. Because even when we play at noon ball, people like like tweet somebody, whatever, throw this crazy pass to somebody that I'm like, do right. you not understand by now that that wasn't right? And now you mad at them because they ain't catch your little fireball you just threw. That ain't them. I've already gotten that about every person that we play with. I mean, for you, for you is like, you mean you got to drive. That's like you having your Ferrari in the right lane. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Because we then you went to Penn State and got you went down like for a stretch, <laughs> like just went down. So every level, you feel me? You done been in that space, obviously. <laughs> so you know, you play with us sometimes. You know, you be watching. <laughs> It's just like, I don't know, like certain things I feel like people should like, well, people who have actually played basketball, yeah. uh, you know, should know, not the ones that really didn't play in high school. That's, that, shit, like that. That, shit, that shit, that shit, that shit is like the, that's like the, uh, the best part of it is figuring out the, to figuring out a way with, it's called a handicap. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So would you be, sometimes you on the squad where you minus four. <laughs> no, no, right. no, no, no. I mean, no, and you you are so you're so right. And it's it's crazy because for for me, I even know what certain people are gonna do before they do it. Yeah. I know when you drive, you're gonna do uh, 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 and, and do that. You know, but I'm like, but I have to also, and that's why I'm very calm. I gotta understand that not everybody is thinking in the manner which I should because I was taught to think that way. So like my dad, when I would, you know, we on you know, regular five and five, whatever. And he say, Tyra, don't look at your man. You got to look at what everybody else is doing. Where are the other defenders? And you have to play in your mind what could possibly happen if you drive a certain way. Who's going to do this? Who's going to be open? What's the, da, da, da. So there are certain times where I won't move because I'm still trying to process it. In my head, you know, yeah. as far as like, all right, I know I can, or, or I just see this person is completely out of <laughs> out, out of play. I got it right away, right now. You, you know, get, what I'm you saying? get to play, coach, and train all at the same time. <laughs> 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 you get to do like that, like that's the new, that's the new process to, pr to produce the dopamine or whatever it's like right. it, it is it's nutty because i get mom because he was like tyler you know you could get past the person in front of you the people that matter it's not the person in front of you it's the people that's behind them where are they at yeah he put that shit in you like <laughs> right, so, 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 so that's so that's how i think so that it's not you. you i'm not worried about you i just gotta make sure you know like the dude today you just can't you just Oh, that was hilarious. And I'm like, this. <laughs> like when Jay put him on me, I was like, this. hey, man. Because he's just too much. Like, I'm like, calm down because you're going to get somebody hurt. Yeah. Being extra. You know what I'm Thanks. saying? Like, you you, you just swipe. You, you have no, all you see is I need to get the ball. A whole bunch of Tasmanian devils right, out there. Right. And I'm just like, Jesus. Like, even the one time where I stopped and I just put the ball like this. He, I'm like, dude, what, and he going to come down. I'm sorry, my bad. Like, yeah. bro, what is wrong with you? Do you have ADHD yeah. or something? You know, nothing hey. against anybody who does, but Jesus, I was like, what was that? Like, what did you just do? Hey, hey, that that I'll be watching you. I'll be dying. I'll be like, Man. listen, stupidity kills me. Like that's why right, arrogance and stupidity. If you just like blatantly like just dumb, or you're just blatantly arrogant, like I just like that. So so, uh, where you get your best runs at, like? You said you, I know you rock with us on the uh, Thursday. You say you wear at Malcolm. Who, who, where you, where you get like for? Well, those are really right now. There's really only two places I play is Mount Calvary on Saturdays uh, with my with my with my family, Chris Gunther, and um, and his people that come there for that uh, between uh, nine, nine and eleven thirty, um, and then noon ball. You know, that's pretty much all I have time for. You know, right now, like there there are some days where I'll actually do two a days and we'll we'll I'll play at the Y on Tuesdays and Thursdays and then I'll go to the other Y in Davis. Yeah. And I'll play there. But when we talk about the best run, the best runs of my life was 
when I was younger. I mean, we I'm talking about I get it, Tyra. No, no, no <laughs> I'm saying like there really isn't the best runs anymore. Like because Y'all hear that, man? Tyra said, bring y'all asses out. I mean, I'm you hear serious. me? She said, listen, she she outside. Go ahead and tell him. Go ahead and tell him, Tyra. Go ahead and tell him. Listen, no, I, I would... listen, Tyra, listen. Tyra <laughs> says she outside. Okay. So if you used to hoop, y'all know her. I mean, I go get her. So I'm sure I was late to the party. So the rest of they already know. So go ahead and tell them you outside. Tell them that you know what I'm saying you back to giving out buckets in the greater the valley. <laughs> you back in the valley giving out buckets. So you That's know, hilarious. get up. You know, tell them. You know. No, I mean that for me, like I said, ladies come outside. That, ladies come outside. You always been you. You probably used to. I, I, I like I like playing with girls, but then I don't. Uh, that's not what I'm. That's not what I was raised on. Like, <laughs> see how she's um, she like. Never mind. Don't come out, y'all. Could no, <laughs> no, because there are some. There are some females that, uh, that I that I love um, to play with. Um, Tanisha Franklin, who coaches at East, is one of them. Uh, Brenda Scott is one of them. But that's because they back in the day. Yeah. Like you know, so they 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 before me. You know what I'm saying? Playing like it's it's the ones that got that dog and not not the arrogant dog not that it's 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 something in your mind that so even if they're not that good there are certain players that they might even not be that good but it's that dog switching them it's that fight it's that it's something else you who know you, who there. you who you like who you like locally like that's still in school right now if you feel you i don't watch it anymore. okay oh man for real Mm-mm. Damn. I don't. I. I don't know. I don't find. And this is a no knock on anyone, because uh, I'm sure there's probably great basketball players and stuff, you know, around in the area. I've seen them come through the Y. I've seen them at Mount Calvary. Seen a couple, you know, good good players. Um, but it this as it doesn't interest me at all. Okay. Like watching. Like I. I, I may go. You know, it maybe. We'll see. Uh, but to be honest, like it really doesn't interest me at all like basketball and and just the different sports you know throughout Youngstown and you know stuff like that it just really took a, a dump off to me and like I said I'm not saying that there's probably not some great players out there or people or potential great players or good players you know or anything like that but I, I'm honestly I, I really have a busy schedule and I just that's not my first thought is to right, go right. see I can dig it yeah. I can dig it I can dig it I can dig it Damn. Man, y'all gotta step y'all shit up, man. Tyra Jack, damn. Y'all gotta step y'all shit up. She says she outside, but if y'all wanna hoop, but you know, for the younger ladies uh who who maybe love the game and don't think that there ain't other females around who got that passion and then people try to make you feel weird for being that uh invested in the game, just know that. You ain't by yourself, you know what I'm saying? It's, Absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got a a, a, a wealth of knowledge in y'all backyard. That's you know what I'm saying. I'm sure if you run into her at the gym, she'll stop and talk to you and give you some game, man. So no you know, no so yeah, like I love, I want to get you. Man, I would love to see you. Like I, I this just me from basketball standpoint. Like I love to see you create something you feel me yeah like i love to see you be like i'm about to put watch what i give her boom 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 with the end right yeah. i mean and I've, I've tried I, i've tried um like i said people are different things are different it's a different time you know uh that we live in i think um a lot of people want to be flashy they want the steph curry now they want to be who steph curry was now uh, they want to be the James Harden now. They want to be the Kevin Durant now. They want to be the Luka Doncic now. They want to be, you know, they want to be who they were. Y'all don't, y'all want the product without the process. Right, right. But there's there's, there's a small percentage that want the process. Man. But very small. And yeah. so you got to weed, you got to weed through that, you know, or, or whatever. You got to see, you know, whatever. But, when the student is ready, the teacher will come. Listen, but I'm saying it's it. Everybody wants that they want the glitz and the glamour it's, and they don't even the, really know how to dribble the ball but y'all don't even want the foundation y'all y'all have to under, like people have to understand before i can shoot the ball 
I got to know how to dribble. You know what I'm saying? Before I know how to move with the ball, I got to know how to be able just to dribble it stationary. I have to, you know, do different things. I, there's certain things that I need to be able to do. I need to be able to walk with the ball before, you know, before, after I dribble stationary and I've gotten that figured out, I have to know how to walk with the ball. Then I need to know how to run with the ball. I need to figure out and be great with the ball. Because then you you are just left captive to once another player drives and somebody kicks it out to me. You you can't even manage without the ball. But forget offense. Y'all don't even want to learn how to play defense. Mm-hmm. You know, y'all don't even want to understand how to play a screen, how to do this, how to do that. Like just today when we were playing, I had to tell one of the guys, why are you fighting over the screen when you are literally 10 feet mm-hmm. away from the three-point line. If that man is going to shoot 10 feet away and we know <laughs> his abilities. Right. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. The one that will mm. it, and be playing deep is crazy. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why not if a screen is coming that far away from the three-point line? So you're literally in between the three-point line and the half court. If you want to shoot that, sir, yeah, go right. I will live with that 20 times over. Why not just go underneath the screen? That's because you didn't pay much attention to that, did you? I'm not going to fight that. You know, you you got to, there's just certain things that you got to understand. You got to know that people don't want to, I've literally played, I've literally trained a child. Um, He's since not here anymore, but all he wanted to do was offense. He wanted to shoot. He didn't want to do nothing else that I had prepared for him, dribbling, this, that, whatever. When we going to shoot? Yeah. Like, that's really what he said to me. What? Yeah. You know, and it was just like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you, about league play? Like, like the Highland leagues. You know, don't do it. You can't, oh, can't do it. They about no. to start a female one too. No, I'm not doing that either. People have asked me. Uh, there have been, sir. I'm not doing that. Nope. <laughs> I love my. I love my female basketball players. Awesome. I wish them the best of luck. Uh, Tyra won't be there, um, but that ain't gonna stop no show. I mean, you know, they say one monkey ain't stop no show, ain't stop no show. So I'll probably go and maybe check out some games, maybe here and there, depending on who I know, uh, who is out there, who's actually playing. Um, but at the end of the day, in October, I'm I'm moving. So okay. yeah, end of October, I'm moving to Pittsburgh. So okay, um, I won't be around very much anyway. So that probably wouldn't do anybody any justice. Oh, they see yeah. you probably gonna go out there and that switch. You probably gonna twist that switch for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You so. know, population density a little different. Mm. More, you know, big gems. Absolutely. Well, you I mean, know. I definitely wanna. I'm definitely gonna find it. Yeah. You know, you, you just gotta, you, you gotta you ask the right people. You, you know? won't have to go piss on the tree. <laughs> like, hey, I'm just letting y'all know I'm here, man. <laughs> so y'all see me in the gym, just respectfully. Right, right, you know, right. so you know, you first get somewhere, you got to pull up mm-hmm. like a true cow, you know, cowboy, yeah. cowgirl. Yeah, you know? I had to, and I had to tell my friend that who came. Uh, not my friend; he's my cousin. He came to the wild one day, and you know, it was one of them type people that was there that, and like this another person that I had never seen before. So I ever seen him, been, and he was one of them. Da, 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 da. He was trying to go one on one with everybody and this and that, whatever, but. My cousin also wasn't, and he's a good basketball player too, he's good. And he wasn't really getting as much attention as he normally would in another setting that people who actually know you. Right. So I had to explain to him, like, you you come into a place where don't nobody really know you. Everybody, there's a lot of people in Youngstown who knows your name. But when you on a basketball court and you playing, you got older people, you got this out, whatever. Not everybody going to know you, sir. Mm-hmm. 
Right. So you got to come in humble and you got to take your love, you got to take your this at whatever. And then you got to prove yourself. You got to prove yourself anywhere. Like not everybody going just like, like you said, you didn't know who I was, no. but I'm not expecting you to either. I, because I don't want uh, to be honest. I'd rather people not know what, what I have done so that y'all, first of all, y'all ain't coming in extra aggressive. For sure. You know, for either. sure. Got that target you know, on your back to, for right, no right, reason. Right, right. And I ain't even here for that. Nah. Like, so, so when people say that, oh, you know, that's how you make uh, I'm like, look, uh, whoa, wait a minute. I don't need all that. So that's part, that's part of what I was getting from old boy today. Right. Because everybody, like, even you were saying, Banana, so you said that. I'm like, dude, I ain't trying to even do all that. So now he, he got his, <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, dude, like, first of all, let me tell you something. You would have burnt his ass up if he would If you would hurt me. Like, but that's, that's what people understand. Like, trying to be very, uh, I, I like, got you. I got very you. like this, but like in my mind, like, I really, it really be like this. Like, I, I really want to go, <laughs> I, like, <laughs> like, I mean, really want to go off sometimes. But I had to like keep myself together. So I'd be looking at people like, dude, calm down. Like, that's not what this is. Right. I didn't already had my time. I didn't already did what I need to do. I'm just here to For work sure. out and look like Serena. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you though. Know, I was like, yo, man. <laughs> Try to wish you'd burn your ass up, boy. <laughs> Like, shit. But I don't play me though. Like I don't know. That's what I'm play. saying. That's, That's what I'm saying. saying. Like, just just put give me that happy up. me. Like you don't gotta be extra aggressive and all up in my throat. Look, you and gonna, hitting in it. You gonna take care of yourself on the rest. Just put a hand up, fam. That's I, you feel me? That's all I'm saying. Like I'm like, but you you. Yeah. I'm like, dang. Like what? What are we doing I here? Mean, I ain't mean to put a uh, little pistol starter on you but like that. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, I ain't gonna put a little that. pistol on you guys. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to do. I was just like, damn. I right, was nah, like, it was right. cool though. So you can't guard her like that, G. I guess I get, but it's crazy because I can take it because people think, you know, oh, oh, she's a female, you know, whatever. Like, but I'm really not soft. Like, I'm a little, nah. You be trying to chill. Live. You be trying to chill. Right. You be trying to chill. And it'd be pretty much it'd be the safest thing to do a lot of times. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Safety first always. So Yeah. But right. you be I'm trying, trying to go home chill. every day. Be trying to chill. <laughs> the trying same to way chill. I came there. I'm trying to leave the same way. You know, we get some we get organized run, you know, with some some good high high IQ players. Oh but we yeah. get so we could get up to get some space and have some fun and really Absolutely. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? And that's what I that is what I love. Like that's why I like when Jr. comes and yeah. you know all of that because he's a talker and he'll like hey, uh, uh, and even George coming yeah. now uh, who's uh, my little brother, um, not by blood but can't make us no closer. Right. Um, me and my my dad and my my dad and his dad are like this. Okay. Um, George uh, Senior and. Like my dad trained all of us, so it was George, Blair, and Preston. That's all his. That's his three brothers, and we was all in the gym together. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, throughout you know, obviously Preston was young and Blair was younger, but and so was George. George is younger than me too, but we was all basically in the right. gym working. Yeah, so I like he had them too. I like <laughs> see. I, I like. I went to um. I went to train it. But uh, you you know who Pat the Rock is? That's why that's not familiar. Um, he 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 do a lot of training in the Maryland area, but uh, he was on the N one. Um, you know, he trained a lot of AI. He trained with AI. He trained with okay. uh Steve Francis Norris. Uh, what's what's the name? What's the boy? Uh, just one with Quinn Cook. Mm -hmm. Like he got his own. He got the Pat the Rock Basketball Academy down in Maryland. That's what I, was, I feel like I've heard that before. Yeah, that's what I was yeah, he be doing. He be all at the all. Like oh, he always playing the celebrity game stuff as mm -hmm. well. But I went down to his, uh, his academy in Maryland and trained with him, and uh, for two days. And I was just like, I wanted, I was like, I just wanted to experience like a little bit of that shit. And uh, man, I'm gonna tell you, there's people who do that shit for real. You know, so like when you be talking about, I'd be like, I went and got me, I went and got me like a. a I'm telling you. I probably got a nice gram of that. <laughs> and, I'm telling you. And, uh, and, and they're doing it every day. Yeah. You know what? That was the one thing I was impressed by the most. Not just, you know, 
the fact that when the younger kids came in, because you know he 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 naturally he cool mm-hmm. like nobody's gonna take away from the, the, what he's built. He trained like Tracy McGrady's kids and all that, so he he he's what he do is his name is already established. But what I what I was impressed with was when the younger kids came in the facility to train. Nobody, none of the other trainers had to tell them to stretch. Like, like it was a, the parents was sitting over there, but one of the more impressive things was like the, the kids that came in, they knew what it was mm. when they came in. It wasn't like, go get a ball, go stretch. Like, no, you, they was pretty much stretch when they got there because, and they go get their shots up or they start to, like, they just go to work. Like it mm-hmm. wasn't a lot of socializing in that joint. Like his, it's, right. but you could tell it's a family friendly environment. Absolutely. Absolutely. But but we here to work. Yeah, we're, we're like get, if you come in here. Yeah, absolutely, and that's and that's why when we when we go outside of, you know, the Warren Youngstown area, and you know we go to places like Cleveland, we go to places like Columbus. Like there's some dogs down there. Mm-hmm. You know, there's some dogs in Cincinnati. You know, like there's dogs in Ohio now. There's right, a for lot sure. of athletes that come out of Ohio. Um, not just outside of Youngstown and Warren, stuff like that. But, you know, when you go to different areas, oh, there there's that. Like, and even if like even me being in the Pittsburgh area right now, Keys Rocks, which is just like it's just another version of Youngstown, you know, with the, you know, slow ink, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. Uh, you know, the school system is kind of lagging. You know stuff like that. Um, it's literally identical. Kid you not. Right. Um, but the kids there, they want to learn. They want that work. They're not that good, and they need work. But they want it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like here. I don't know what be going on. Well, look. I think this is my personal opinion because. Like um, I frequent the the DMV area, the DC Maryland area a lot, right? And uh, when it comes to like basketball in particular, that area is one place where like the people who made it they pour right back into it, like like it's it's really like a farm. That whole area like a farm <laughs> league. I'm serious. Yeah. Like, no, I get what you're saying. Like the and way, I, and I wish that you know Youngstown was the same way. Uh, but everybody is on their own island. You know, I've I've tried to connect, you know, with people who have, you know, different camps and this and that going on. Uh, and no, like, no. And yeah. I'm like, and that's crazy. I'm like, because we. Like, that's, yeah, because. You I, know what I'm saying? I'm like, we, 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 it doesn't make sense not to. It don't make sense you know not to. To collaborate, not saying on all your stuff. I don't know what I'm saying. But for both of us, and I'm not, you know, obviously I'm. I'm not gonna say names or whatever, but if both of us were to come together and to do something, right. that would be phenomenal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It would it would be awesome. But when I like young sounds one of the one places that it's like sometimes it's like don't nobody want to come together. Like everybody just wanna do everything individually, like thinking that people are gonna take your limelight and shine. But you have people like me, I'm like, that ain't even what I'm on. I'm just here to help. Like Dude. that's what my mission is in life is to help. That's that's what I, I took. You know, shout out to shout out to my boy uh Floyd, man, in DC. But he, he really like taking me around to that culture down there, that basketball, like Berry Farms, uh inside the gates, they call it the uh Goodman League. Mm-hmm. Like that's like they program one of their programs down there, but like those guys, they they come right back. As soon as they make boom, they come right back. They in the gym with the the youngins, like they don't, and it's like, like I said, it could be from Steve Francis to this day. He's still going into Pat the Rock Academy, like any given time when he in time just to train, help him train. Um, uh, Quinn Cook, um, like all those. It's a, it's a lot more. It's a lot more from that area, but you know, they all, they all. Uh, but the, but you gotta also understand too, because I hear what you're saying, but you also gotta look in the perspective, like. You know, the city got a whole bunch of money for sure just recently. And why are we not creating situations and environments and you know opportunities for these? Like I've literally like like you know, to build something where or you know, you letting the South Island just rot. You know what I'm saying? Rot away and die. 
that's so much history and culture and so much everything in that building. So many people know of so many things that have gone on, not just basketball, you got variety shows, you got boxing, you got uh, Pistol Pete uh, father was on the professional basketball team that was in there. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That was the South, you know what I'm saying? Like all of that. People don't know that. There's so much history, rich history in that place. And Youngstown is letting it rot and rot away. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I don't know if somebody getting it now, whatever, but there's no way that that even should have been a thing. Like I, like, I have so many memories in there. Yeah, we got <laughs> coming gotta, out at night. Like that's that's something. <laughs> you know that, that's definitely something that you know I, I would love to see in this area. Like those of those of y'all who like have the wisdom, right, of what it, yeah, and then couple couple with the sports program and yeah, then you yeah. got you got track, you got whole track back there. You got football yeah. and you got other stuff. I even said to the wives, yeah, I said, why do y'all not have AAU tournaments here? Yeah, man. I, I don't understand, like, you know, I don't understand, like, and that's like earlier I was telling you, asking you about that, even seeing the industry, is like, nowadays, somebody can drop a one on or 5e5 and people will be so entrenched to the character, creating their own influencer persona. Some of these young men and women, they just on playing basketball, make getting crazy checks and traveling, getting flew out to these different gyms and parks just because people like their personality mm-hmm. and they can like market themselves. But even in that industry, they still got to be in influence on the professionalism uh, oh, side. Oh, you feel I, oh, that, so, that, you get that, what I'm that's, saying? That's that's first. And foremost, you know, of everything, you know, because talent can take you places, but your character is what keeps you there. You know what I'm saying? Your mentality, your mental, your, you know, everything, all of that is is, is talks about your character. So, um, you know, it's yeah. good for social media wise, just because AAU is so expensive and stuff like that. So it's good to be able to have that other type of platform to that college coaches and they get that exposure and stuff like that. But if you're just doing it, and and nothing is really coming out of it. Like you're not even going to the next level. Like, are you just spending your whole life just doing this <laughs> one thing? I mean, and if that's what you want to do, then by all means, do your thing. But I would think the ultimate goal out of that is to get exposure so that you can go to the next level. Well, the thing about it is this is becoming so much like like you was you had mentioned earlier, like the uh like the uh, in college, they got the name, image, and likeness where mm-hmm. they can get paid now. So essentially, we already know it's only a certain percentage going to college to play at that next level. Mm-hmm. Is and it, it, whether you, I'm just talking about off of what it takes, mm-hmm. not even exposure. You feel? I'm just talking about what it takes. And then, you know, you have a percentage of people who, well, let's say scholarship walk on. Then you have a percentage of people who will intermural their way to a few uh, amateur pro leagues. Maybe mm-hmm. if if they committed that much, mm-hmm. get some G League action or overseas That's action. What I'm saying, so I'm overseas. Um, basically, it's almost like being a, a independent music artist at this mm-hmm. point. You know, at this point, like you were saying, like just through the, going through the system of even being in the draft or First of all, like I said, outstanding high school. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Outstanding, outstanding high school, being exceptional and co- sticking out in college. Now I'm in the Big Ten. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I'm like, okay, now, yeah, your 50 pointer in high school ain't mean shit. You mm-hmm. feel me? Now I gotta be, I gotta go crazy. You feel what I'm saying? I go crazy again to the point where, like you said, I don't gotta say nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Like I don't gotta say nothing. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So to to then get your name called, you know, get your phone call and get drafted in the WNBA, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like independent artists. I mean, that's 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 what it is. It's just like I mean, and I feel like it if if that's what you want to do, and if that's how you want to make your money and sure, just doing that, sure. it is cool, but it's like, what is your insurance plan? Mm-hmm. You know, I come holler at you for that too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because then what happens <laughs> sure. when you get hurt? 
No, for sure. Win. For sure. At least if I'm on a team <laughs> like that, like I've gotten hurt playing overseas. I ankles, oh, man. They got messed up over there. And, um, but I still was getting paid even though I wasn't playing for a month. You know what I'm saying? Because then I was getting rehab. I was getting all the special, you know, stuff that I should have. For sure. You know, um, I was getting all that. So I don't know. I guess I just feel like it's just like being an entrepreneur, I guess, in that yeah. situation. Yeah. It's, it's like, well, if I play, I get money. If I don't, I don't. But what happened? It just, it's just so much that could happen in that aspect. You know what I'm it's just, wild. It's wild because you're absolutely right. It's, it's definitely a whole new unconventional right somebody needs to tell me your insurance plan off that I'll, yeah I'll, and i mean how, how is that how what happens if you do if you do get hurt no you go get a regular job like everybody else i mean i'm just saying it's but, like oof. i'm saying like the opportunity then you really have to be taught to invest yeah i mean something i mean i mean we all know if you making money off your body you on the clock we know that mm-hmm. you feel what i'm saying like if you if you're if you're you make your coin off of your body, then we already know that. You on the clock. You, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So we understand that. I'm saying like a, a mid-20-year-old kid who maybe was, they can play, but maybe they're not institutional level right. or, or association level. Uh, Talent, at this point, they can still make a living playing basketball. You get what I'm saying? Like, even as an individual. I'm watching these guys on YouTube, man. It's 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 I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot you some links, just but you know if you, you find some free time or whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's crazy because I'm thinking about it like that's a whole new But it's, it's still the same thing though, if you think about it. Because you got a whole bunch of kids, a whole bunch of whatever, 20-year-olds, whatever, competing for the same thing. Yeah, that's inflation. You still have to deal with that. Well, no, no, I'm saying, and then not all of y'all are still that good. So it's only those few that, like, it gets, sm- like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, they got bottleneck. <laughs> because when you're talking about I didn't play it against, you know, people that are played in the NBA, well, not the normal – kid that's at the YMCA or whatever, whatever, y'all not playing against Mario Chomp. Like, he's not wasting his time, you know, playing with you. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's really, to me, it's the same. As, but it, it actually is harder, you know, to me, because you got to work on getting spoiled. You got to work on this. Like, it ain't like you got a name behind you, like an institution pushing you. Yeah, know, for sure. You know, or anything. Like, you, you you're not like, Okay, th- th- these are these televised games. This is this, this is that. You know, you you know, you got people looking and watching. You got a tournament that's coming at the end. So you know, if you make it there, you know, you really seen. You really uh, like. Yeah, these they. That's, it's, that's it's like way harder. It's it's me. it's just like the end. They just like uh, underground rappers. I swear to goodness. That's what I'm saying. So, it's I just mean, like that. Thing. They got like it, they I got a it. cameraman, and they record. They it's it's it's, it's wild though. Yeah. I Seeing people playing basketball and be fighting and stuff like yeah, they get mad, yeah. they get embarrassed. Yeah, it's like wild. the one white dude like hit it off somebody. <laughs> you head. seen that? Yeah, and he <laughs> ended up pushing them, like hitting them in there. I was like, oh my god. Hey, brother, understand what he was trying to tell him. He said, he said, uh, he hit the ball off his face. He said, uh, man, you can't guard me, bro. Like I can harm you though. <laughs> Right, because I think after he did it, then he did the move. He tried to go to the hoop, and then he, yeah, like he, he, he fouled him real hard. He fouled him hard. And he was like bleeding or something. Like I don't. And know he told him like, "Don't hit the ball he said, off don't my ever face." Do that, yeah. Because I mean, people yeah. don't understand that. Like some years ago, off the heezy was fine. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When when hot sauce and all that, yeah. and the professor all them was coming up with that. Like that's, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, that's bad. Like people was able to take it. You know, because you just got you got clown and you take your yeah, lump and you move. Even with them, that was more like the entertainment part. But you, we talk about like you going the, down. But like to now, I go down the street and now yeah. you know I'm that person and I go out and I think you know off your thing. Like not everybody, but the world has changed to be able to you know do that. But I ain't gonna lie, somebody hit me in the face. Yeah, that's you know, that, that boy was problem. playing with fire, bro. Yeah, he I'm was tripping. A with that. He was tripping. Uh, T Jazz, yeah, he was tripping and. 
they were trying to explain to him, this ain't about not being able to guard you. This is this is about you Man, gonna you respect people. You feel me? Because yeah. it you is know. like certain moves are disrespectful. Yeah, I was like, and, I was, I was like, man, that's, they about to tear that boy up. Right. He about to get towed up. He and he's talking about some you can't guard me, man. That's supposed to be the last thing on that man's mind, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Definitely wasn't. That's not what they were thinking. No, nah, he's like, boy, you still talking about basketball? Yeah, like, we <laughs> talking about something totally different. At this point. We talking about you walking off this court, right? You feel right, me? Yeah, I'm trying absolutely. to keep from catching the case out this motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You still talking about some basketball? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's it's damn. It's cool though. That is. It is. I didn't even think about the still the um. Oversaturation of people who want trying yeah, to everything is has turned into that because everyone thinks it's a lot easier than just going you know one route or the other blah, 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 or or going a certain route. But both of them are hard. Yeah, you but ain't gonna escape the work. No, you like you you have no choice but to be on your p's and q's, and and now and then you have to then now instead of being flown out. To, the, to, to go against because like uh we play at Penn State play at Madison Square Garden. I played against Maya Moore. Mm-hmm. Well, that's an opportunity. Did I have to pay for that? No. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got a free education. I didn't have to pay to do that. I didn't have to pay for the private jet for us to go there. Didn't have to pay for the hotel to be there. Didn't have to be nothing. Man. And guess what I just got? Exposure. So now you got to pay for all that stuff. You got to get there, whatever, until you make it to that platform to where you get the little blue check mark, you know, whatever. And oh. people fly you out. And I know people, I hear people say, even though they got that blue check mark, they got whatever, they still ain't making money. No, they. I heard you pay for that shit. I heard you got to like, basically, by that at that point, you got a whole publishing team trying to get you together. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's so much yeah. to even get you know, to that point, but I mean, that's what I said. Like, I mean, that's, that's entrepreneurship. That is what it is. And if that's what you choose to do and that's how you want to get your stuff, then by all means, who am I to knock it? Nobody. I just didn't I, go that way. I'm, I'm trying to talk you into uh, training somebody to make them a dog. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to encourage somebody to contact you and say, I'm ready. Cause I like to see, like I like to see, uh, I like to see some more. That was not coming back on the weekends. I got somebody. Mm, well, you know, it can be worked out. You feel me? Somebody just gotta show you that they, you know, saying they that they understand what you talk about. Right. And then, if the stars align, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But it all starts. Anything's possible. And I was about to say, all we gotta, you know, it start with me just putting it in the universe. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then having the platform to be able to get it distributed to mm-hmm. inquire in mind. You know what I'm saying? Without a doubt. You know what I'm saying? And then next thing you know, you be like, somebody going to You yeah. say, go I, I ain't going to lie. I put the training stuff on the back burner for a little bit um, just because it was so much, you know, I was doing. Yeah, for sure. Um, you got to live way. too now. You got to live too. Don't let the fans like me try to... Uh, I mean, no, no, no. You it know. ain't because that to me that is a part of me living. Yeah, you, you know, gotta. helping people that is a part. Like that's why, like when when I'm in positions like this, and I'm doing, you know, uh, after school, and I'm being around kids and stuff like that, I don't identify that as work because that's something that I love. So, yeah. So, so yeah. it's you know it it becomes work, like especially when it comes, like training kids and stuff like that. When I know that I'm not in the best situation like either the kid really ain't they just doing it because mom and daddy told them to do it right you know whatever so that kind of takes the love out of me and I, i've definitely had conversations with kids like if you don't want to do this don't do it you know what I'm saying? And you, should, a you, should, way. you should you should coach a, a team <laughs> like a look like for real where i mean let me get my bearings together because i ain't coaching ain't it i ain't gonna lie not around here, I would never. You know what I'm saying? Get up and down the sideline, put 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 your mix. Well, I would in. never anymore because I I was on track to you know coach Cheney at one point in time. I was helping Tanisha, and I, I mean it was awesome. It was an awesome experience. It was a great staff. It was great, whatever you know, all that was good. Um, but then other things have you know played part into why that isn't a good 
that that wouldn't be good for me. Like I even tried to coach at Ursula and they passed me over. What about like in a uh like since you're moving, you know what I'm saying? Because because you know, sometimes when people got so much access to you, they don't appreciate what you bring. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So you getting into a new environment, um <clears throat> and being able to kind of like you know how doing stuff at home sometimes it's not as easy as it sounds. You know what I'm saying? So, but in a whole new place where you can just singularly focus on this, and then when you when you leave, you know when you leave, it's not the, like you know you love the city so much that oh, every, everything everything that go on in the city gonna hit you different. You know absolutely. what I'm saying? Because well, you from here, you love this place, so. Mm-hmm. The, the luxury sometimes, in the other sense, if you was in another environment where you wasn't so close to some of the other things that are going on and you can have that singular focus to put your put your play down, it's for maybe maybe that might be the... Well, I mean, here's the thing. I, I'm a never, I will never turn my back, you know, on Youngstown. I'll, and I've always said, no matter how many times I leave, I go, whatever, I'm, I'm always going to come back in some way, shape or form. Um, the biggest thing is to get some things in play yeah, for sure. um, so that when I do come back uh, and maybe it isn't even just to live, but it's just to have something here, you know, uh, to do and to have for these kids. But I realize that, you know, these are some things that I'm going to have to do on my own. For sure. Uh, and then to get outside help from even, you know, people who got all this money, they need, they want to help and want whatever. Like it, it's just so hard to really get all of that together in Youngstown. Um, so the biggest thing is I know that I have to, sometimes you got to leave, regroup, get, get the things together, get your finance, get the, da, 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 mm-hmm. all that. And then boom, now I'm able to do whatever I want. For sure. Sometimes you got to go get foreign wages. Gotta, Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to go get foreign, foreign coin outside your footprint. Build some of relationships, get you like you said, get yourself established to the point where when you do align your uh energy to give back that is, you know, everything else is smooth. Yeah, but I don't you dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's the only way it really works. Mm-hmm. That's the only way it really works. If without a doubt. You can't even you can't even much as you may want to, you can't even actually if you if you're how they say if home ain't right, you can't handle nothing else. So no. you gotta be able, you gotta be dribbling right on all fronts before you can even call yourself, you know, mm-hmm. giving that energy. Same elsewhere. Um, what else we got, man? <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate you uh, stopping by. You know, you know, not only you the first Hooper I had on the show. The first Hoover, first time I really got to talk about sports, like uh, you know, from a athlete to athlete, you know what I'm saying? So it's actively still, you know what I'm saying, playing and enjoying the game. But, you know, first female I had too as a guest. So, you know what I'm saying? You still checking blocks, getting it done. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> still getting well, it done. I appreciate done. it. I appreciate the the fact that you felt um that I would bring something. Uh, sure. So, what you have, and so I'm definitely always appreciative and grateful for that. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. I'm sure we sit down. You know, we sit down often, more, more, more times in the future too. Cause, you know, what I'm saying, um, yeah, you definitely got, you definitely got, you got good spirit, and you got something to give. And I know you do give your time and stuff, but you know, it ain't hard. It ain't hard to. uh it ain't hard to link with like-minded people. Oh, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it, it's actually a gravitation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it don't be hard. You know what I'm saying? It don't be hard at all, man. And um, I think it's dope. I'm always going to still be a uh, champion you as long as you outside. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, let me watch this clip real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, she was one of them. She was throwing, especially when you blocked that shit. I was like, yeah, it's hard. Tyra, one of them, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I res- respectfully, I love that shit, for sure. For sure. But, um, you know, I appreciate you for coming by, man. I ain't going to hold you too long. We been, we got about two hours in. <laughs> that was cool, man. I like yeah. this. You know, we 
especially talking basketball. I, I definitely enjoy it. I definitely look to do more content and more sports related and not just sports, but you know what that that expression through sports that mm-hmm. it does for us. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Even even now, you know what I'm saying? We just got through hooping earlier. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So it's like I feel you like Tuesdays and Thursdays or whenever other time. I go if I go two or three days without hitting the court, I'll be feeling weird. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I feel absolutely. weird. So you know what I'm saying? That's you know what I'm saying. I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying? And uh thanks everybody for tuning in. Tyra Grant, you know what I'm saying? The legend. <laughs> and she says she outside. Uh, she back outside, man. That's right. We out. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.